9.26 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast in the United States of America. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So I wanted to thank everybody who tuned in to the live last night. We did like an hour and 30 minutes almost. Um, until like 2.30 in the morning. You guys got some bonus coverage because my son was up until like 2.15. So I decided to do a live. So what we're looking at is Bitcoin's at 42820 the RSI is coming down in the 30. The stochastic is going towards oversold. In the four hourly, we're still up in the overbought. But if you look at the daily, looking the same, but the weeklies are what I'm talking about. The weekly on Bitcoin is still really low. We have engulfing, engulfing candlesticks. And it could lead us down to 41,800, could lead us down a little bit farther, we don't know. Or it could just propel us upwards. We have options expiring tomorrow, but remember, this will be the first time with Bitcoin options where the money is going to be 750, or what is it? This is set to be made $150 million if Bitcoin stays over 42,000. In comparison to the last few times, the shorts were in control. So we're going to see. So the farther away from 42000 it is, the less money shorts make. So we're looking to stay over 42000 for for the longs for tomorrow. The option's expiring. So we're going to see what happens. It can keep it tight here, though, with Bitcoin. We created a lot of things with Bitcoin. We can see this, this small uptrend we're trying to break. If we do that, it'll probably... Excuse me. If that would... It's supposed to be 42,800, so it hasn't broke anything yet. So if it can hold this, it would propel itself up to the next level of about 43.5. It's about right there. But we did break out here. We're, we're at the top of the channel. Created a channel and we hit it perfectly last night. I, it looks like we want to push ourselves up to 45.5, but we might have to have a retracement first. The 30 minutes to cast it, it looking real good though. It fell way off. So... Sometimes you start alleviating pressure on each of these pushes up, so you never get that huge retrace. But we'll see because we do have the options expiring tomorrow. We could have a nice little battle here today. That definitely for sure. We've got XRP at eighty three one. It's still trying to maintain the integrity of this. If we come down to the uptrend, that would be about eighty one five four which I would not be surprised since we didn't maintain over the top of this breakout, got rejected by 85.6. And now we're just trying to finish this pattern. So I think we're in good shape. I just think we might have to deal with a little bit of uh, volatility with Bitcoin because of the options expiring tomorrow. We could have a lot of sideways action. So you're gonna have to be secure in what you're doing. Um, XLM. continuing this uptrend but as you can see when you start to further away from the uptrend you have to come back and hit it so it's possible we come back down to 19.7 or we hit it farther up at 20.202 so then we have a trade with AVE that it's attempting finally to break out and now it's trying to back test this uh symmetrical triangle that it broke out of. If it can back test this properly and then bounce out, we should be cleared off to $165.70 to get on top of that support, and that's what we're looking for. You look at us in the weekly on AV, we're looking fucking fantastic. We got a nice engulfing candle, so I think we're looking really, really well. We just gotta play this true. There's gonna be levels of volatility here, but the weekly looks fantastic on all crypto.
the daily looks a little volatile. The four hour little volatile. The 30 minute looks good after a small little correction. But these might dump down to 42,000 today because of the options. And we have these moments of volatility. So XRP Future Miner, make sure to hit that like button. Consider joining Tom's Army, $9.99 a month. Get the exclusive content, get the ability to the classes, and be able to talk to me in the live streams. DGB, again, the weeklies look good on these in golfing, so we're going to get some fake out so that we can get out as many people as possible, in my opinion. DGB is going to try to come back to this uptrend at 2108, which is absolutely perfectly fine. It's just part of the process. Stay blessed, everybody.